Leverett and Louise Waters were my great-great-grandparents. They were both born in Georgia in 1881. Here you see them with their children, Jack, Milton, Elsie, Ruby, Alma, and Ethel. The family lived throughout the South, in Alabama, Florida, and South Carolina. In the 1920s and 30s, they raised their family in Atlanta. In the 1920 census, they were living in Milstead in Rockdale County. On the 1920 census, they were recorded at 51 River Street. Here's a census record. You can see Leverett, Louise, Alma, Ruby, and Milton. At the time, Lever was working at the Milstead Manufacturing Company, later known as Callaway Mills. Here you can see his 1918 World War I draft card. It's hard to read, but you can make out where it says Leverett E. Waters in Milstead, Rockdale, Georgia. He has his birthday, and near the bottom, he's a mill employee working at the Milstead Manufacturing Company. You can just barely make out his wife's name at the bottom, too. The family lived here in part because Louise's parents lived here. Her parents are buried at the Milstead Cemetery. On the left of the picture, that's her parents' graves, Richard and Rachel, and on the right, her brother's grave. In the 1930 census, the family was living in an area called Cabbage Town. It was a mill village, part of the Fulton Bag and Cotton Mill Company. And then they lived at 205 Savannah Street on the 1930 census. You see it here, Leverett, Louise, Milton, Elsie, and Jack. Though they lived in the mill community, at this time, Leverett did not work at the mill. You might notice that there's no actual house at the address given here, but previously there was a building. This is a map from 1910. You can see where the house used to be. In 1936, Leverett filled out his Social Security application. At the time, they were living one street over and a few houses up. Here's his application. It looks like he filled it out himself. He lists his occupation for, as working for T.P. White on 510 Decatur Street. This location is just across the railroad tracks here. Again, it just looks like an empty lot. But in a map from 1910, you can see where the buildings used to be. In this photo, you can see Leverett working as a barber. From the combination of the Social Security application, as well as city directories from the time, we know that Leverett worked for T.P. White at a barber shop. In this picture, Leverett is a barber. He's second from the right. Likely this was not a picture of this exact location, but it gives you an idea of what his work was like. Leverett and Louise later moved to South Carolina, but they did return after their death and were buried near Leverett's home in Cobb County in Smyrna at the Bethel Cemetery. Their son Jack was buried next to them.